Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little bit of a different video. I basically wanted to sit down and just chat with you my biggest tips and tricks for getting back on track and then kind of staying on track too, I guess. It's one of the most difficult things when you know you fall off track or just getting on track in the first place is really really difficult and it's probably the most difficult thing about working out it's actually getting to that point where you are into a routine getting on track and basically i wanted to give you guys yeah my tips on how to do that and how to go about getting and staying on track so i kind of broke down my tips into seven different things and different tips to get on track how many times can i say that <laughs> if you do enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up a little bit different if you enjoy this kind of content and kind of more into the fitnessy side of things let me know of course i am wanting to do like more vlogs like fitnessy vlogs and things like that because it's a huge part of my life um this channel isn't fully fitness it's kind of like my lifestyle and then bits of fitness a little sprinkle just all aspects of my life I guess and fitness is one of them. I am an online coach and a personal trainer um, and if you follow me on Instagram at Lottie Lucy then you will have seen all my fitness content but yeah let's get into the video. So number one is let me check my phone so I've actually written them down that was really good isn't it number one is and then I don't know what it is um okay I wrote the order out on my phone so that I can keep on track. <laughs> with everything that I want to say in this video. So, number one might seem like the most obvious one, but it is to have a workout plan. So plan your workouts. Instead of just saying, I'm gonna start on Monday, and then getting there and not really know what you're doing, have a workout program slash plan. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to pay for it. So obviously, if you get a coach, um, that makes it really really easy because they obviously give you it and you just know exactly what you're doing especially if you're not really very confident or you know you're you've not been doing it for that long and you're not sure what you should be doing that kind of thing obviously getting a coach would be super super helpful but i'm very aware that not everyone is in the position to do so or wants to do so so it doesn't have to be getting a coach just plan it yourself if not go on youtube go on Instagram and take somebody else's workout um, that they've shared and make that your plan or just write one down yourself. Honestly, it will make the world a difference and not just for one workout, do it for your week and then repeat that. Um, yeah, honestly, having a plan will just change the game for you because you're going and you know exactly what you've got to do and you're just giving yourself less room for excuses, I guess. Um, and that actually takes me on to my next point, which is number two, which is give yourself less room to make excuses slash put your outfits out the night before your workouts. Honestly, it might seem a bit like OTT, but it actually, even at this stage, I've been working out for years, putting my gym clothes out the night before just helps me out so much because it's giving you less room for excuse because you've got it out there the night before you wake up and whatever you are wearing for the gym that day is already there for you so if you then go okay i'm not going to do it you're really kind of turning back on yourself because you've already set yourself up for it if you know what i mean so the night before lay out your clothes make it really really easy so that you wake up and even if you don't work out in the morning even if it's in the evening having it there when you come back from work um or if it's in your work back with you and you just go straight there whatever it is it's giving you less room to actually go now nah, because you've already decided you've already set it up it's all there ready all you gotta do is put it on and get to it so yeah honestly i really really recommend that i do that and really do find it makes a difference number three is schedule your workouts the week ahead so not just planning like obviously your workouts that you're going to do but also schedule them in so on a sunday probably preferably um before like the busy week starts you could do it on a monday but probably sunday set out the days that you're going to work out kind of figure out what if you've got nights out or days out with friends or events anything like that do not let these get in the way because on the sunday schedule in when you're going to do it and it might be helpful to kind of have like a time that you're going to do it as well so is it 
7 a.m. every morning or is it 7 p.m. every night and just stick to it um, and honestly write it down, schedule it in like it is work or an appointment because you don't miss work, you don't miss appointments because you can't because it's scheduled. So do the same with your workouts. Again, it's leaving less room for excuse. It's kind of similar to the last one. So set the days and even specific times if that's what works and just stick to it. Okay, number four is less is more and just try and steer away from the all or nothing approach. So what I mean by this is a lot of people when they're first getting into fitness or getting back on track go right okay next week I'm going to work out five times a week when the previous weeks they've been working out none or one do you know what I mean it honestly it's going from zero to a hundred and you are honestly some people might be able to do that but realistically you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because it's just going from zero to 100, it's all or nothing. And honestly, you don't need to do that. Just because you wanna get more into fitness, just because you wanna get back on track, it doesn't mean you have to work out every single day or completely go from one extreme to the other. You don't need to do that. And honestly, I work out three to four times a week and that is totally okay. Lots of my clients work out three days a week. You do not need to go all Am I focused? Yeah. I've actually also had clients that when they sign up, they ask for, say, five workouts a week, probably because that's what they feel they should be doing. Um, and we notice that they just don't stick to it. And then I actually say, you know what? We're going to decrease this because let's work on the accountability first. So that is what this point, basically, I'm trying to say. Start off with less is more. Start off with two workouts a week, three workouts a week, get consistent with that. Honestly, you will see so much more results and you'll be so much more consistent and more on track if you do that than if you try and aim for five, don't get it, feel rubbish and it's just like, it's just not helpful. So start, start less, start lower, do three a week, which is by the way, more than enough to do forever. Um, you don't need to ever be doing five a week, but if you want to, that is okay. Um, oh, I've scratched myself. <laughs> I'm one of these people, if I like scratch myself or something, have I been doing that whilst, I, whilst I've been speaking? Probably. Um, I go really red. Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, where was I? I've gone off topic canal. Yeah, start at three. Um, get consistent with that for at least a month or a couple of weeks before you even think about introducing. Um, yeah, so many people try to just go from zero to 100 and that's why you're falling off track and you're not able to stick to it because it's just too much all at once. So it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Okay, that was a long one. Next is number five, that's what we're at, is to just show up, okay? And I bang on about this. I say that quote all the time. It's my favorite quote. I use it all the time myself. Um, I can't stop noticing that now. But just show up. This is like my favorite quote ever. Um, and yeah, I use it myself all the time whenever I'm like feeling a bit unmotivated. I'm like, mm. and then I think about just show up and then I go. Basically what I mean by this is take the pressure off. Again, it's kind of similar to the last one. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You do not have to have the best workout ever. You do not have to do the most ever. You don't have to, all you have to do, the main Thing that is going to literally change your fitness game is the consistency so when you're sitting there at night thinking oh should I work out no I'm really tired or no I won't be able to do PBs today no I won't do a very good workout today or a lot of the time we put ourselves off because we like stress ourselves out and think oh that's such a big workout oh that I've got so much strip it all back just show up literally take yourself to the gym or if you do home workouts get changed whatever and literally tell yourself, even if you do one exercise, it is better than nothing. Honestly, this changed my whole game. Because honestly, once you go and you do one exercise, you'll probably find you do more. And you know what? Even if you don't, what you've done is better than nothing, which you would have done if you hadn't even gone. If that makes sense. So yeah, honestly, just show up. And honestly, as soon as you start thinking about the gym, whether you're laying in bed in the morning, 
and you start thinking about the gym and you start thinking about it don't let yourself think about it as soon as it comes into your head get up and go as soon as you're thinking about it at night maybe you put your tea on and you're thinking oh i should probably gym or just before you do your tea sorry that probably wouldn't make sense and you're like should i go to the gym and then you give yourself time to think don't give yourself time to think as soon as it comes into your head just go and just show up do what you can i also um when i was getting back on track after christmas and you know i was feeling not, i wasn't in a routine and i was struggling for motivation a little bit i literally said okay i'm giving myself an hour going to the gym giving myself an hour and that's all I thought and I just did what I could in that hour and I'd usually just do my whole workout anyway and not even think about the hour but it's just like that mindset of just going giving yourself that time doing what you can taking the pressure off because we put so much pressure on ourselves and we don't need to um yeah it just it's not helpful it just brings it brings us down when actually we just need to show up and just do what we can okay again long one I could speak about that for ages because I just feel so passionate about it because I think it's the biggest thing, isn't it? It's difficult, it's not easy, but it's possible guys, so yeah. Okay, number six is, this is a bit of a different one, and it's something that I've done recently, just this year, um, and let me go get it. Basically, I have a calendar, I show this on my how to be that girl video, Basically, I have a calendar that I write down all my workouts. It's purely for workouts. Actually, I have things like Little Mix concert and Harry Styles concert on it too, just because I like to see, I like to know. Um, but it's got like no worky bits or things like that. Um, it's purely just every, not every day, the days of the week that I work out. Once I've done my workout, I'll write it down on it. And I just think having that visual, like I'll write lower body, if I did lower body that day. I think having that visual what's the word like tracker of when i've actually worked out just really i find it so motivating let me go and get it so i can show you rather than just chatting about it and you're like what are you talking about <laughs> okay so sorry if you've already watched my that girl video and you've already seen this but i do, do just want to share it again i also have my dentist appointment in this um just things like that because this is literally out on my desktop all the time so things that i really like want to see anyway no, no work or anything so as you can see, I've got all of my workouts written down. Going to see Little Mix on the 27th. So excited. Anyway, besides the point. So lower, push, lower, lower, pull, lower, push, lower. As you can see, where's the pulls? Oh, there's another pull here, I was going to say. Um, anyway, I basically write down, and I just think having that visual, like maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't. I think it maybe just depends on kind of what sort of person you are. Some of you will be thinking that is ridiculous. Um, but it works for me, for me. Everyone's different, what works for them, but I'm quite a visual person. So just seeing that kind of motivates me. Like I want to do my workout because I get to write it down after, if you know what I mean. And I like seeing my consistency. So it's been three days a week this month, um, which my target was actually four. But three days a week has been working fine, and yeah, so anyway, again, off topic. Um, but yeah, I just find having that visual, like, track of it is really, really helpful. Also, it's like a dog calendar, look at that. <laughs> Basically, it's a calendar that came with a diary my mum got me for Christmas, and I already had, like, a different work calendar, so I was like, oh, what can I use this for? And yeah, it's been the best thing ever, I absolutely love it. How cute. But yeah, it's worth a try if that sounds like something that might help you out you know just get a really cheap one and I like that that's really big and it just sits on my thing but number seven and my last point is a little bit of a different one but it's basically to try and just create small little healthy habits um as you're getting back on track I just find that really helpful so things like drinking more wake up and just have a glass of water the first thing just little tiny small habits focusing on like small things not again it's not all all or nothing just focusing on small little things or instead of thinking i have to track my calories maybe just think about you know getting more high protein foods in um or yeah just taking like small little things rather than stressing about a whole big picture um i find it's often really helpful so yeah waking up having a glass of water maybe 
I actually did track my water, which again is not necessary, but I just did it really briefly for like two days just to kind of see. Um, and it's just like being more mindful of little kind of small daily healthy habits um, in your life um, and things like that because it all adds up, you know? And I think just the better you feel and like the more, as I've been drinking more water or, you know, having more high protein foods, I just feel all around better and then it makes me want to get in the gym. It makes me want to carry on and, you know, keep doing better for me. So that would be my last little point even just getting more sleep like it is so important you can't work out if you you know your sleep isn't right you won't get the best out of your workouts and um, just small little habits that are super important overall um and yeah will just make you want to stay more on track okay guys that is everything that's my seven points i did write it all down so hopefully after this video i won't like be really annoyed that i've missed something because i did sit and think about it all first i really hope that helped even if it just helped one person please let me know if you do any of the things i've said or if you're going to do any of the things i said and yeah let me know how you're getting on and how it goes okay guys i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video I actually did film a Primark haul before this, so that's why I'm wearing the same things. I just felt on a roll and I wanted to film another video and I had this planned, so yeah, check that out if you want. Anyway, bye guys.